it's important that um, people now address climate change. We should stop talking and as Bishop Desmond Tutu said, we should walk the walk. I'm here because I care about, a lot about the environment and we shouldn't destroy it. This is the only planet we know we can live on. I'm way out of my comfort zone. I've never, I've never held a megaphone in my life. So I'm going to have to speak out some announcements to say why we're here. Today we're making a stand along with thousands of people across the world. Politicians are like weather vanes. Our job is to make the wind blow. <coughs> Okay, because um, we really need to make people realise that climate change is happening and get politicians to do something about it. Probably the most important issue we face as a human race and yet we are really not tackling it and we need to wake up and do something. Brilliant. Hey, I'm here because I love the planet. I want us all to be safe and well in the future. We're here together. I'm here because um, we've just got to do something. It's too late. We can't look around anymore. We've just got to do something. And if millions of people all over the world get together, then we can make change and we can make it happen. So I want to not only protest, but propose the changes that need to be made for climate change and that those changes have long-term caring consequences. That's why I'm here, Philip. Thank you for asking. One thing is that the banner here which says the debate is over, climate change is real. How about that? After the, uh, the um, success of Mr. Salmon's campaign, I think we possibly could show a difference or attempt to make a difference. If the Scots can do it, so can we. We're in the last stages where we can actually do something and we've really got to act now before it's too late. I'm an optimistic guy, but you know, obviously we've got to tell it how it is now and, and, and take this forward and move forward swiftly. It's quite fitting that we're here in Gloucestershire on a climate change march, because although John Tyndall, the most famous climate change scientist, was actually born in Ireland, his family came from Gloucestershire. And in 1861, he produced a seminal paper um, demonstrating that greenhouse glassic gases would warm the, warm the earth. There's a report this week from the Economic Research Group in New York that has clearly demonstrated that moving to renewable energy will actually be cheaper within 10 years. And it is the poor and dispossessed who will suffer the most from climate change and us in the wealthy West should act now. As a middle-aged, middle-class white man, I need to step up and lead. Uh, I need to call, we need to call on young people to uh, unleash their dynamism and energy and optimism to lead us to. Uh, that's why I'm here. To think wider than party political for, uh, parties, because this is an issue for all of us, no us and them. And the reality is, although it's a global problem, it's also a local problem. I'm here because the Strong Valley, as you know, for that, is really suffering with the problem of flooding. And that's a personification of what global change is climate change through global alterations of weather patterns is doing. We get flooding on a regular basis, and we've got to recognise that is entirely due to climate change. and I've come over from Cheltenham and uh, I've been doing this for about 10 years now and the reason's the same, still the same, it's a moral sense of duty to the people of the um, global south and the majority world who haven't caused this and we have so it's, uh, it's our responsibility and the politicians need to act now.
Starting the climb up the hill. Because I really believe in it and I saw your thing. We came from Herefordshire and it's fantastic and we would move here if we could. I think the world needs to know more about what we're doing and I'm hoping that people will turn off their cars sometime and join us. That's funny again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> So here we are in Rodborough for the climate walk in Stroud to coordinate with the United Nations New York Summit. It's been a really good turnout which just shows that people are still on it, are still caring and realise that we haven't got much time now to act and we're all here really to remind our leaders, particularly our UK leaders, to stand strong in the face of business at the uh, climate conferences in Paris next year. That's fundamentally why we're here. <laughs> well done, that's brilliant. What we'd really like to do now is take some photos of the heart with you guys inside it. Just because I think it's really important that we in Stroud do a bit in what is really an international event. And what's so exciting now is these things used to be sort of led from, 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 from Europe or America. Now you actually have things happening all over the world and we're just one small part of a fantastic web of citizens just demanding that their leaders do something. So the people now have, have uh, recognised the, the, how important climate change is and they're saying you know, the leaders have to do it, you know, have, have to do what we say. And we're just going to keep doing this for a while, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, I mean, the people stood here today, Philip, actually recognising the, the challenge that lies ahead of us and if we want to continue our society and live in as we do and as well as we do then we have to make certain changes as to where we get our energy from and that's what it comes down to it comes down to the hydrocarbons we're taking out of the ground and these people here today are saying we've got to stop doing that we've got to stay new to fracking and we've got to look at the renewables and energy use and that's what we need the world leaders to do on Tuesday in New York we will need a massive and determined social movement to deal with climate change. A movement perhaps not dissimilar to the abolitionist movement that dealt with slavery. As with slavery, half measures are not an option. There are far more fossil fuels in the ground than we can safely burn. We need to keep them there. But every day we delay, the task gets more difficult. Climate, climate, climate change challenge. Come, come around it, come. 